Good morning, grade 11. Right, today we are on lesson 3 in the booklet that I gave you. Um, the link to get those booklets is on the description below this video. So you can click on that link, it will take you to my Google Drive and you can get that booklet. Uh, just as an acknowledgement, this is a lesson that was pre uh, prepared using the Via Africa Grade 11 textbook. Okay, so let's get into it then. Right, today we're just going to learn about the inclination of a line. What does it mean when we say it, the line has got an inclination? Well, the inclination of a line, AB, is the angle theta that is formed between the line and the positive x-axis. So, if we draw a linear graph like this, your x-axis, your y-axis, and then you've got a straight line with whatever equation it is. You see the straight line here and the, the x-axis here are going to form an angle which we call theta. So this angle is what we call the inclination angle okay so whenever we are to find the inclination of an angle we are finding this angle here same if the graph has got a negative gradient right so this is y this is x and the, the graph there um, whatever a b the angle is actually measured anti-clockwise so that means we are finding this angle here. This will be the, the inclination angle of the line. Now, in order for you to find the inclination angle of a line, you need to know the gradient of your line. Sometimes the gradient is given to you. Sometimes you've got two points and you need to calculate it. Sometimes it's the equation of a line, so you have to write it in that form. Y equal to mx plus c. And then, and then find a gradient from that. So we're just going to go through some examples and see how we find these inclination angles. First example. Determine the inclination of the line with the gradient negative 2. Do we need to draw the line? No, we don't really need to draw it. Maybe sometimes you might want to draw it if you just want to know what it looks like. But you don't need to draw it. Now, remember our formula looks like this. The gradient M is equal to the tan of the inclination angle theta. Now, we are looking for the inclination angle theta. We know what the gradient is. It's negative 2. So, we're just going to say negative 2 is equal to the tan of theta. So, basically what that means is that theta is... The tan inverse of negative 2. You're just going to now take out your calculator. And then we're just going to quickly calculate. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode, D. You have to make sure of that. And then we're just going to find that tan inverse of negative 2, close the bracket, wow, it gives me a negative angle. Alright, so that is negative 63.43. So this is equal to negative 63.43. But I have to add 180 degrees. As you learn later in trigonometry, you will find that the period of a turn is 180 degrees but just for now just remember if you have a negative angle after finding the inclination just remember that you add to 180 degrees and you get your answer so our angle is actually 116,56 okay 5 is a big number so it's 57 actually so it's 116,57 degrees Okay, let's look at the second example now, example two. 
Let's look, let's look at example two now. Determine the inclination of the line if k is equal to negative 12 and 9 and y is 6 and 3. So k, negative 12 and 9, y, 6 and 3. That means we have to find the gradient. So let's take this to be x1 and y1. Let's take this to be x2 and y2. But uh, we know the gradient formula. M is equal to the change in Y, so that's Y2 minus Y1 over the change in X, so that's X2 minus X1. In this case, our Y2 is 3 minus our Y1 is 9 over our X2 is 6 minus our X1 is negative 12. Remember to include the signs. So, we are going to now take our calculator and let's calculate that gradient. Okay. 3 minus 9 divided by 6 minus negative 12. So our gradient is negative 1 over 3. Now we go back to our formula. All right. So remember when we introduce the formula we say it to find theta you're just going to take the inverse 10 of the gradient. So in this case we're just going to take the inverse 10 of our gradient here 1 over 3. Let's calculate that. So the inverse 10 of negative 1 over negative 18.43 four, three, four, da, 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 which means the digits go on right we should add this to 180 because it's negative and we have 161,57 Okay, so remember, find the gradient first. Okay, let's look at another example. Okay, example three, calculate the gradient of the line with inclination 52,6 degrees. Okay, right, remember our formula? The gradient is the 10 of the inclination angle. We have the inclination angle here, so we're just going to find the 10 of 52,6 degrees. I'm only putting it in brackets because most of your calculators would put this in brackets. 10, 52,6. So our gradient is, okay, let's round it off to one decimal place. So the gradient of this line is 1, 3. Wow, it's a gradient. Okay. Now, let's quickly look at uh, another interesting example. Example 4. Okay. Right. Let me just uh, zoom this in a little bit so that we can really see what's going on. Okay, so we have example four here, where we have a sketch. So we're supposed to find these angles. Theta, this one over here. Alpha, that one over there. E, that angle over there. And F, that angle over there. Okay, so let us do that. Now, this theta is between two points, t at negative 12 and negative 8, r at 10 and 14. So we have to work out the gradient first. So let's find the gradient of tr being equal to the change in y, so the difference between the y coordinates, 14 minus negative 8 over the difference in x coordinates 
10 minus negative 12. Just take out the calculator. 14 minus negative 8 over 10 minus negative 12. Okay, that gradient is 1. So in order for me to find theta, remember we take the, the inverse 10 of the gradient 1. So let's calculate that. Inverse 10 of 1. So that is 45 degrees. It's advisable if you find an angle, take a pencil and write it in. Because most of the times you are going to need that angle to find the other angles. So that is 45 degrees. Well, we now have to find that angle. Well, this is a point S at 14 and negative 4. This is Q at 4 and 16. Let's calculate the gradient between that. So the gradient of QS is equal to the difference in the Y coordinates, 16 minus negative 4 over the difference in, remember 16 minus negative 4, so 4 minus 14. Right, let's calculate that. Okay, here it is, so let's calculate that. 16 minus negative 4 over 4 minus 14, that is negative 2. So in order for us to find theta, we're going to say 10 inverse of negative 2, which is equal to, so let's find that, 10 inverse of negative 2, close the bracket, negative 63.434, okay, but we have to add 180, so the angle is 116,57 degrees. Okay, so that's the answer. Right, as I said, you need to write in your answers with a pencil. So one one six comma five seven degrees. Okay, now here is the big question. We need to go now and find out what this E is equal to. Okay. So we saw already from here that if this is 116,57, then this obviously is 63,43 because these two must add up to 180. Now, if you remember from your geometry, from the easy theorem, which tells us that to get the exterior angle of the triangle, we must add the sum of the two opposite interior angles so if we add these two angles we're gonna end up with that angle okay so we're going to use that theorem now and say e is equal to 45 degrees plus 63,43 degrees 45 plus 63,43 okay convert that to a decimal so 108,43 degrees that is the size of E and obviously now to get F I'm just going to subtract one A, this from 180 because they make a straight line and straight angles are 180 degrees so f is going to be 180 minus 108 comma 43 
which is equal to so 180 minus 108 comma 4 3 equals make that a decimal so that is 71 comma 57 degrees okay now there are some exercises on that same page on lesson 3 please complete those exercises and if you do send me the answers send me an email send me a whatsapp let me know you are actually working on it and thank you for watching i'll see you next time